Hi preschoolers! So I thought we would end this week today by doing another Pete the Cat book because I think that's a really fun way to end the week sometimes, right? So we're going to do Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. So this is the one where he has the sleepover with his friends and they all keep waking him up. Okay, before we get started, we're going to smell our flowers and blow bubbles three times. All right, so smell flowers, blow bubbles. That's one. Smell flowers, blow bubbles. Two, one more time. Smell flowers, blow bubbles. That was three. Okay, let's get started. Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete and the gang had a great day. They'd been at the beach. Surf and sun and tons of fun. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place. Let's go. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. On went the pajamas and out went the light. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when... Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Pete tried again to catch some Z's when, rat-a-tat-tat, who did that, Pete asked. It was me, said Gus the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to sleep. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunch. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? All that clapping, rat-a-tat-tatting, and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. He got out his favorite bedtime story and started to read, first to himself and then to the gang. Pete noticed it was finally quiet. No more clapping, no more rat-a-tat-tatting, and no more munching. They all settled down. No one made a sound. Pete yawned <sighs> and turned off the light. Good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing, sun, and tons of fun. The end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our story today. This is the last story of the week. I will see you next week on Red Day, okay? Until then, I wish you well.